sunlight sticking around. Looks good so far for my potential, I guess, weekend planned. And what's going on today? Because it's interesting reading this one. A lot more people using drones for things like delivery. I know for other items like medical items, for example, it's not as common. But I guess now a lot of companies are trying to get into that as well since they experienced success. This one here says, This iDrone was first used during COVID-19 pandemic by ICMR for distributing vaccines to unreachable areas. Today, we are transporting blood and blood-related products which are supposed to be kept at a low temperature. After the experiment, we found that not only can we maintain the temperature, but there was also no damage to the products transported. We sent another sample through an ambulance and if there are no differences in the sample sent using the two modes, then this drone will be used all over India. So it's one thing to transport goods just regularly. It doesn't matter if it's bumpy and so forth as long as it's safe in there. But there's another when it comes to things like temperature monitoring, I guess. Either way, lots more people again using the tech for stuff like this. Although with that said, still a lot more, I guess, military types of news and all that when it comes to drones and using them. How about this one? This one says, US Air Force wants drone wingmen to bring mass air power on a budget. If the Air Force has to fight a major adversary such as China in years to come, a top general said it must bring mass in its air power without breaking the bank. But pilot fighters alone won't be enough to maintain the United States prized air superiority. Lieutenant General Richard Moore, Deputy Chief of Staff for Plans and Programs said in an interview with Defense News, Key aircraft in its fleet such as the F-15C are rapidly aging and the service is on track to retire more than twice as many fighters as it buys over the next five years. That's why Moore said it's vital for the Air Force to build and field a planned fleet of at least 1,000 drone wingmen to augment its pilot fighter fleet and the service is working to pull together industry ideas for so-called collaborative combat aircraft and its own experiments to figure out how to make this a reality. Doing things on a tight budget in this sense reminds me again how I said many times when people hear the term military grade products they think it's like some kind of heavy duty tank or something like that but ultimately it just means something efficient or whatever that they would actually use. It could be the cheapest thing possible. And from going from things that are cheap, how about going after people who are rich per se? This was kind of interesting as apparently the Google founder is being sought after because apparently he has some kind of connection with this Epstein lawsuit, which relates to that guy that was a pedophile, for example. It says here, Larry Page missing as Google founder faces Jeffrey Epstein lawsuit. The US Virgin Islands is struggling to find Google co-founder Larry Page in order to subpoena him as part of a lawsuit against J.P. Morgan Chase. According to federal court documents filed on May 4th, the government of the United States Virgin Islands has been attempting to find a physical address of Page to subpoena him. The documents state that the government identified four possible addresses, none of which were valid. Prosecutors are now requesting the federal government allow Page to be summoned via Alphabet Google's parent company due to the fact he still remains a board member despite stepping down as Google's CEO. So that's kind of crazy. Is the guy trying to evade them or is he just that hard to find? And it says the court documents also outline the initial lawsuit against J.P. Morgan Chase Bank for its interactions with deceased convicted human trafficker and sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. The document said the government brought this civil action against defendant J.P. Morgan as part of its ongoing effort to protect public safety and to hold accountable those who facilitated or participated in, directly or indirectly, the trafficking enterprise of Jeffrey Epstein. So was this guy involved in it? Who knows? It's just kind of crazy to think about if it actually is true. That's what makes it a little unbelievable in these situations. Is it possible that all these, for example, wealthy and powerful people just happen to be part of this, quote, scandal or so forth? It just doesn't seem believable in many ways. I guess time will tell, huh? Because I guess like they say, the truth eventually comes out.
All right, see you guys later.